This was supposed to be the intro, but you forgot. You could it. be the new Aiden Ross. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Asian Ross. <laughs> you, if you like Kyle. Asian Ross, baby. His YouTube's in the description. He's trying to blow up. Fuck. The deep dive with hey, Asian put Ross. Me, and... Put me in the game. <laughs> or if all his TikTok, he pushed their straps. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Deep Dive Podcast, where we are currently in a different setting than normal, obviously. Oh, we got the lake behind us. We got Kyle here on the left, and What's we up, got guys? Jake here on the right, two good friends of mine. Um, we're going to do a hot takes episode today. The lake, beautiful view in the background. We're here for the weekend. Pretty sick. Um, so we're going to start it off. These guys have no idea what I'm about to say, but I'm going to do some hot takes, and we'll see how they uh, how they react to them. So... We're going to try to start it off a little, uh, probably with some, just some common ones, I guess. Actually, let's start off with a pose a question. So pose a question is a very famous segment. Um, the question today is, what is your favorite lake activity? There you go. Well, let's see. A couple of years ago, I definitely would have said tubing. Tubing, um, yeah. Just because when we come down here, we do two tubes on the back, and it used to be fun because we would fight each other off and everything. Yeah. But as we've gotten older, it's been more fun to try and get on like the wakeboard and water skis and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that definitely is. Uh, it's definitely been more fun than now than tubing is because. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know. yeah. And I think it can almost be seen as like a pretty universal thing because we have uh, Nathan here has some friends who are neighbors down here at the lake with him who also experience the same thing. Like pretty sure just kids in general like don't want to focus on like the um skills part of it because it's not as fun right you have to learn and get better at it when tubing like, like skiing like yeah, wakeboarding like skiing and stuff like that yeah. and tubing they just fly off and bump into each other like that's what you think of as fun when you're little <laughs> yeah. but for me um i recently just learned how but i think slaloming is the most fun because i think it's the explain what um, sl- slaloming big, is yeah Sl- so slalom skiing, water skiing is, so normally you water ski with two skis, except with a slalom ski, you either get up on one ski and only ride one ski, or yeah. you get up on two skis and then you drop one ski, so you're just riding on one. And it's, I find it a lot more fun than regular water ski. I'm a skier kind of guy in the water. Big but, skier. Huge <laughs> big skier. skier. Uh, I hate wakeboarding. I, I fall every single time. <laughs> but um, slaloming, you can pick up a lot more pace and your crashes are a lot more fun than just water skiing. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's the skier, I'm the wakeboarder, so that's how it kind of goes. And Jake's um, kind of the all-around guy. <laughs> he got up on or his... Or the nun guy. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I lo- I'd say wakeboarding is my favorite. Um, that's just kind of the thing that I've leaned towards, I guess. But uh, I think tomorrow we're going to try to get all up at the same time, so oh, we'll see fun. how that goes. I'd, yeah, I would I would use, I would agree with Jake. I would definitely say... Tomorrow. Huh? You should slide the clip in of us Maybe. all at the same time. Yeah. I don't know if if we get it on video, yeah. Um, I'd probably say tubing. I mean, a big thing on the lake, but it was more when we were little. Yeah, I mean, tubing used to be like the best thing that you oh, look forward to at the lake. My parents would be, you know, we would drive them crazy because we just want to tube all the time. But now, people are get injured a lot more easily. <laughs> You're injured too, Jake. <laughs> yeah, at least I actually do stuff though. Oh, jeez. All right. You haven't tubed yet. No, we actually have a pretty fond memory of tubing. Um, we were down here last year with another kid. His name is Ryan. And um, oh, yeah. we went tubing, or it was last year, the year before, I can't remember. But we went tubing, and I forgot how. I think we were doing like a circle of death or something, but mm. he tubed, and then when he flew off, his pants flew off with him. Oh, yeah. So he had no swimsuit and just his <laughs> underwear. And we like, we, I don't even think we bothered trying to look for it because it was just no, like gone. It, was, but, it no. sunk, yeah. Just, pretty funny anyways there's a little blast from the past um <laughs> all right we're gonna get to the hot takes segment real quick uh not real quick this will take the rest of the episode um, yeah reminder we have no idea what he's about to say so yeah i'm kind of nervous this is their guys first time on i mean you guys have been in the youtube videos but yeah i've never, never done a podcast before so yeah <laughs> all right so um i don't know what you can see some of these uh, you pick. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Choose I mean, them. I don't look at them. Let Nathan choose. There's a lot of. There's a lot of good ones. We got time. Um. I don't know if I did this one last episode or not, though. Or I guess episode seven it would be. Um. This is. Hmm. I don't know if I want to dive into this. Yeah. I guess I'll, I'll repeat it if if we already did it last time. But having a sexy body should not be considered talent. 
Well, obviously, it's not talent. It's just, like, I guess. Having yeah. an attractive body and yeah. is going to bring you attention on social media, which turns into you gaining more followers and more attention yeah. from, like, random people on the internet, and that's going to evidently lead you to become more famous and gain money. So it's not really... I wouldn't say it's considered talent. Okay. But having that attraction can definitely lead you to becoming famous from example like charlie d'amelio kind of got famous off of yeah. um being attractive and then it turned into like dancing she used dancing as her yeah. claim to fame and yeah kind of uses that against it but it's a weird it's a weird world Wait, <laughs> yeah that's what was it sexy body i was just saying like talent yeah it seems like if you're born with a really attractive body that you're gonna basically nowadays get clout no matter what if you put yourself out there well there are plenty of like average people like us we're obviously average. not like consider yourself average <laughs> i do consider myself average <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right but um there are plenty of attractive people all over um but like they they're not getting famous so like i think it's a mix of being yeah. at the right place right time i mean like if you get good exposure like you'll blow up and if you continue to do what people like i mean you'll get big but i think having a sexy body i mean it's not all talent because in order to maintain that sexy body like it takes a lot of hard work and dedication like you can't just be like f like fit or something your entire life so obviously having True. good genetics is okay. basically talent but well, yeah. you have to put <laughs> yeah, that's stuff what I'm in, saying. into it to like okay. keep it and yeah all right yeah I, I agree with that. Um, all right. Let's do uh, what you were doing earlier. <laughs> ASMR videos, to me, are extremely annoying. Oh. <laughs> Jake, you look like you have something to say. <laughs> you bring out the chip ASMR. No food in my hands. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if you hate ASMR. <laughs> I love ASMR. Really? Actually, I'm kidding. I don't ever... I've never... I haven't seen an ASMR video in a long time. Me neither. Ooh, I actually used to go on uh, Twitch... And I would like be browsing around, like looking at games and stuff. And then there'd be like uh, a talking or like a oh my I god the I IRL channel. And like usually Dude. at the top there'd be like some ASMR channels. And like just out of curiosity, I would uh, sometimes just go and just listen. And of course you would. Why? What do you what, what do you mean by that? Dude, I always see in my TikTok when I'm scrolling like random ASMR channels pop up, and it's like well, yeah. just doing like <laughs> random. It's like, yeah. it's like satisfying. I don't some know of the why. stuff, like, because there's like, a, I actually researched some of it because I was like really interested. Yeah. But like ASMR basically works so like there's specific noises for each person that like pleases like, the ear. Yeah, tr there's like triggers and then they, like make you tingle and stuff, which is why I mean, I mean <laughs> tingle. Yeah. What are you Ooh. tingling from, man? I don't know. It's like clicking and stuff like that. Like <laughs> of course. <laughs> <What? Stuff. laughs> Your keyboard. Know, no, not like a keyboard. Like on like a metal thing, and then you're just like you know like fingernails. It's like tapping and stuff. It's pretty interesting that's stuff. Your, that's okay. Your, um, that's your satisfying that's your pleasing sound. Not a king, but Lady, <laughs> ladies out there, um, some if you want to impress Kyle, some information for you. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to my ear and like start doing that, no. Nah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, can we all agree that? I mean, well, I guess you like it ASMR a little bit. I mean, I obviously wouldn't listen to it now. Like, it's just. Well, I think it was wow, more toward. Yeah. I think it was more. Um, what's the word? Like, more people listen. Like, girls listen to it more than guys. Yeah. Or at least like. Girls oh. did it more than guys, cause I, I feel yeah. like the first time I really ever heard of ASMR was like four or five years ago when slime was huge and like okay. the tapping of people's slime when they when girls and one of oh, the guys yeah. did it too, but making slime and that's how that kind of at least started for me. Yeah, is where I heard of it from, but I feel like that was more generally mm -hmm. aimed at girls. All right, well, here's a controversial one. Well, I don't know if I agree with myself, my past self that wrote, that wrote this. Um, I said, cold temperatures in winter is better than summer. What? I don't get it. What? Cold winter is better than summer for me. Oh, is cold better temperatures than and winter is better than summer. Yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. See, I do not agree with that whatsoever. I can debate with myself too, though. I like, I, I like, I don't like summer because there's lots of bugs, really sweaty. You can, you can heat up in the cold, but you can't like cool down very easily in the hot. I think it's different for us because we live in in the middle of Kansas and in the winter there's literally like nothing to do. We'd have to travel if we want to do anything That's true. fun in the winter like skiing or snowboarding yeah. or go to mountain. Like we can travel 10 hours and go to Colorado to the mountains but and this yeah. goes for most places in the winter you can't really do much and then in Kansas sometimes in the winter it gets like we had a couple weeks last winter where it was like negative degrees like negative 10 degrees for like a straight week and it was just snow and it's just it was terrible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then in the summer it also does get like up to 100 like right now it's like 100 degrees and the humidity is just terrible yeah. 
But yeah. I, I mean, obviously, the, like I feel like winter's just so depressing because you you sit there and there's not just not much to do. You stay inside most of the winter, yeah, majority of the time. I, yeah, and that's I like agree. right around you know school when school gets bad, and then you have finals. Semester obviously, Christmas. Finals, Christmas yeah. is what of makes course it. the best not part. Everyone winter. celebrates Christmas, so like that's yeah. true. But you celebrate Christmas. Though. I do celebrate Christmas, okay. but not everyone does. Um, but I just, I definitely just still disagree with that. That winter's yeah. better than summer. I, I mean, I don't think you can. Yeah. I think summer's by far the best season. Well, really? it's just more activities. Yeah. You know, just the amount of like stuff that. you I can, can do, I can and the fun you can have. Yeah, I, I could definitely. What are you gonna say? Um. Yeah, I'd say summer is probably the top, but I think fall comes in as a close second because it's like really it's yeah i think school starts dude it sucks yeah but also like the temperatures and it's like hoodie yeah. season you start wearing stuff that can yeah. live in the summer okay. i i would say spring over fall except i have spring allergies which kill yeah, me during same. the spring season i would say that that's exactly what i was thinking when you said that because in spring just it's just terrible and just destroys yeah. you yeah it's terrible yeah but spring is true. like the rising action to summer spring so break like, yeah. like the weather in spring is great and usually. spring break yeah i go skiing every year so that's like yeah. Highlight of spring. And this year we get our senior spring break, so that'll be mm-hmm. a super yeah, spring will definitely be good this year. Yeah. Right before graduation. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, let's do... Hmm. Uh, there's not really... I mean... Okay, here, here's one um, that you guys... I Actually, I think you'll agree with this one. Uh, Apple Music is better than Spotify. I That's agree only because... That's a I've used Apple Music for the past couple of years. I actually did have Spotify before, but that was before well, I ever really you, listened okay. to like. That was before I ever really made a bunch. It was like seventh grade, so I didn't have many playlists or anything. I kind of just yeah. listened when I wanted to. But when I really got into listening to music all the time, I switched to Apple Music. Okay. But I really don't think there's a. I, I don't think you can say. I think if you, whoever has Spotify is going to say yeah, Spotify is better. <laughs> whoever has Apple Music is probably going to say yeah, Apple Music's better. In yeah. my opinion, which I know so many people disagree with, the layout and interface of Apple Music looks more pleasing. I, same, I I'd agree. With, Spotify, I was say it's that. like just the green and black. Just I don't know. It just looks. It looks. It doesn't look like aesthetically pleasing like Apple Music does. But yeah, that's obviously opinionated, and a lot well, of people disagree. Stuff, yeah, yeah. And it's like Spotify's for at least for me is a little confusing versus the free and the non-free stuff. Yeah, but premium. Apple Music, it's just Apple Music, you know. Yeah. You can't really do anything. There's no premium. It's just you have to yeah. either buy the songs yeah. or get Apple yeah. Music subscription. I think that's well. I mean, obviously, it's a controversial topic, but like for the people that like, yeah, obviously you're gonna be biased based on the, whichever one you use. But yeah. for the people that have actually seen go from Apple Music to Spotify or vice versa, I've actually heard that more people like Spotify better because I oh yeah, the, I, I, think I hear is. the same think, thing to be honest. Yeah, I yeah. think yeah. I just don't understand why. Yeah, you're talking about like the user interface and stuff, but I, I've, I've obviously have never used Spotify, or maybe I have a long time ago, but I just can't really remember. But I've heard that the mm-hmm. user interface is a lot easier to like navigate and stuff, even though. It, uh, I say the homepage is. It's definitely um, you want to search up artists and stuff. It does have one thing over at Apple Music, which I do like, is the monthly listener thing, mm-hmm. and I don't think Apple Music oh, has right, that. Oh right, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've heard cool that there's more see. stuff to see on Spotify. Like, more statistics, maybe. Yeah. But um, my like, dad. For an example, my dad has he he's had Spotify his whole time his whole life yeah. or whenever it came out. But and then when my, when I got Apple Music, we got like a family subscription, so he has both of them, but he only uses Spotify because he mm. claims that he likes Spotify better. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I like the uh, the Apple Music playlist that they put together too, though. Um, there's a couple of good ones. Oh yeah, like top like, pace, But I'm assuming Spotify and they always have too. like top 100 in every single country. Oh. I'm, and sure I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, yeah, probably soon. Yeah, they probably Wait, do. I don't even listen to those. Are I've they, listened to a couple. If you get a Spotify playlist, can you translate that to an Apple playlist or uh, no? I don't think that you can. That might be the most frustrating thing ever because they're both music things, but you can't. That would be pretty there's, cool. There's, there's a uh, there's an that. app app uh, idea right there for anybody yeah. that software developers. Or it might actually be you know, from Apple's watching. Knows. Maybe you should uh, collaborate with Spotify. That would cost a lot of money though. <laughs> if Apple's watching. <laughs> yeah. If if Apple's watching, just. Steve Jobs. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, okay, here's one. Boneless wings are bet are way better. <laughs> oh. I have zero thing to say about this because I've never had boneless wings in my life. Oh really? No, I, I have everything to say about this. I love oh. boneless wings so much yes. more than chicken wings. Yes. And people always argue they're like, dude, chicken wings just have so much more flavor. But I'm like, dude, I'm not trying more to meat. work. Okay, more first meat. of all, you have to get your hands dirty because you have to like True. actually hold the chicken wings. Yeah. Second of all, you can't even yeah you can't even eat all the meat. There's yep. still like stuff on the bones, like the ends of them and stuff, and then it's just harder. And third of all, 
it's just there's no work involved of eating boneless. Like you just pick it up with a fork and exactly. Dip but it that's and eat the fun it. behind it. Mm. You take the <laughs> you take the bone and you slide you slide your mouth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you like I don't know. Just, just play like, devil's oh advocate there. Oh there. because I've never had boneless wings. Just play devil's advocate. Isn't it not just like eating a chicken nugget? Like you just it kind of is, but it's 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 more it's quali it's quality meat. I feel like it's a boring. lot more than than chicken nuggets. If you compare uh, like the sauce, like as long boneless as boneless wings with like. Like McDonald's chicken nuggets, there's like an obvious night and day. Yeah. Well, but anything compared to McDonald's chicken nuggets, there's going to be a difference. <laughs> but chicken nuggets aren't seen. A, boneless wings and chicken nuggets are different. Well, for example, when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings and see their boneless chicken wings, they look the exact same as chicken nuggets. They're little balls of chicken. I guess. I mean, kind of. I mean, but they're similar. But I would say chicken nuggets are more flat. Like boneless wings are like kind of like more right. circular and have more meat in them. Yeah. In each one, at least. And the meat is just solid. It's it's just. I will say though, the one bad part about boneless wings though is sometimes the breading is terrible, or like yeah. at least for beat up, sometimes it's like really crunchy and stuff, and it gets. I, like like, I feel like I you wouldn't like want it? breading yeah. on my wings. Yeah. I feel like I would just want to eat the sauce I and the meat. I kind of like the bread on the wings. Well, when it's like when you get a bite of only, when you bite of only so bread, when you'd rather have mm -hmm. the chicken, that's when I'm exactly. like. Exactly. I guess. But then again, I would rather do that than still eat chicken and have to like clean everything up and. Because yeah. It's sometimes and so it's annoying not a clean up, when it's there's, there's a lick of the finger. Oh, okay. When there's mm, when there's uh, when okay. when you have the bone in, you can't. Uh, sometimes it's very hard to get around the bone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so, it, it, it yeah, it's it's kind of annoying to have to do that, and sometimes you miss out on some of the meat. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, I say yeah, that's the main thing. Um. All right. <laughs> Here's a funny one. Is it caramel or caramel? Caramel. 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 Okay. Definitely caramel. I'll agree. It gets on my nerves right. if I hear car caramel. Yep, same. Well, there's, there's so, so many, many words like that. that milk, I'm just like, milk. Why would you? Milk. Oh, yeah. Shout just out Mason. Where... Shout out Mason. Mason Fleischman says milk. <laughs> says milk. <laughs> Mason, he says milk. It's a joke, yeah, but yeah. You're weird, Mason. <laughs> Tomato. Uh, <laughs> stuff like that. It's... Well, I guess it's different with, with like different. Uh, my grandma I, says a lot of things weird like that. Well, yeah, I know yeah. people in Europe a lot. They also say things. I think we probably pronounce things differently. But well, it's not even Europe. It's like southern. Southern people say it different. Yeah. Southern accents. A lot of, I've heard a lot of southern accents that say it differently. Mm hmm. Um. All right. Here's one. Uh, speaking of like food, I guess or drinks, water, I believe is the best drink ever. <laughs> I know that's kind of ridiculous, but. I mean, you can't say it's the best drink well, I guess ever. It's forced that we have to drink it. So, I mean, obviously, <laughs> that, I uh, feel like water. Can, if you're if you're making a category of best drinks ever, I don't even think you can put water in there because if you're talking just like generally best drinks. drink ever is going to be based off taste. And I, I like I like tasty. the taste of water. No, but I would also you say like the taste of I would water. Also say yeah, dude. Best drink, fresh cold water. It's nice. <laughs> best drink ever because of how safe of a plate is and how it will get you. It, it gets you what you need. If you're thirsty, you want to drink. You would drink water if you're thirsty. Okay, like, but if yeah, we're going yeah, that's generally off taste, there's so many other drinks well, like like what so what would your like favorite tasting drink be happy dad oh. <laughs> are you 21 I, I have no clue actually <laughs> that's really hard to think about yeah would you consider a root beer float to be a drink even though it has ice cream in it sure yeah I mean maybe a mix but yeah root beer float a dessert I don't know I feel like you could put. There's, yeah, actually, it's probably true though, because there's thou there's millions of people probably that literally strictly only drink water. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's probably not true though. They probably still drink like alcohol and. Just a lot of people drink water over like soda when they're going out. It's also yeah, the healthiest see, that's option. Yeah. It's just water. It's there's a lot of too. people out there that strictly most, just most need to drink free. water. Huh? <laughs> I said there's a lot of people out there that strictly just need to drink water. Oh only. yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Hmm. Let me uh, get some other ones out here. Um, let's go with... How, how many about... Do you have? Oh, I got a lot. Man. I got a lot. Uh, this is, all right. <laughs> Just to make sure it doesn't uh, run out. So I mean. here's, here's... Yeah, here's one. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, in my opinion, isn't like... <gasps> oh, God. She gets so much clout compared to, compared to... I'm not saying she's bad at all. She's great. Amazing. But, I, I mean... I don't, know, just, I don't know where it's I'm again, going with this. It's just like that right place, right time. She produced a song that blew up on social media and everyone TikTok. started to... talk. Yeah, and everyone started to... <laughs> I've heard her being called like an industry plant, which do you guys know what that no. is? I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't just, agree with that at all. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think... She... The mm. fact that she 
Actually, I can't even speak on this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know if I, I want to... I don't want to speak on it. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> she was. She's lucky for... Because she obviously doesn't have much more talent than tons of other artists out there. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she's so young, okay. but she's already, like, for example, at the White House meeting Joe Biden and talking yeah, about... Yeah, see, that's insane to me. Like, I don't understand why we need her to be the one to enforce political things, like... I mean, okay. not even political things, just, like, she went to the White House and talked about getting the vaccine, like... The White House is enfor- like they're using her to enforce people getting okay. the vaccine. So that's a whole other topic, though. All but, these, but, yeah, yeah, yeah it's not about politics. <laughs> no politics yeah, on this. Yeah. Leave that out. <laughs> no, I mean it's fine. We we're, we didn't we didn't dive too deep in there. Uh-huh. Get nice it. one. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd say I like some of the baby's music. I know he's kind of a meme, but oh man, I. So what's, what's I, the hot take? Yeah, I was gonna say the this, hot take is I like random. I like a lot of the baby music. How is it a everyone song? everyone likes a lot of the baby. Oh, I mean, no. I know lots of people that don't like the baby. So is the hot take the baby is good? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's the hot take. I don't, I don't like worship the baby, but there's well, yeah, songs that if they come on, they're <laughs> I listen to them. Baby, <laughs> no, worship the baby. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I wouldn't say he's a bad rapper, but yeah, a lot of people say you know they that his songs are all the same. Yeah, which I mean, actually, I do agree with that. He needs. It's, well, if you go back and listen to some of his like 2017, 2016 albums, he has a whole different flow. Yeah, that's. And true. And I think in the past album or two, he's tried to switch the flow because there was about there was like three yeah. albums in a row where every album had every song had the same flow, the yeah. same rhythm to it. Yeah, and he which sounded is why it's the exact super hard same. to do like a whole album listen through if you're because like I, there's yeah. some other artists where you can just because there was because the I definitely think mm-hmm. he was more at least like to, I mean I don't know about to me he was more popular. Um, yeah, he was more popular like about a year yeah. ago, probably than he is now. Um, yeah, but er- that was back when like every song was the same. I think he, I think he kind of forced people to be dried out of his music. Yeah, and that's probably Actually, why I, I agree. Like yeah. for me at least, that's yeah. probably why I quit listening. I think right now I liked seeing him more as features in yeah. songs because that one Dua Lipa song, Levitating, everyone's heard of it. Basically, oh, yeah. it's such a he has a lot song. of good features. Yeah, he's really he's, good. He's under really the good sun, but under the sun, oh, Dreamville. Yeah, the sun, yeah. That's like probably one of the best to baby features of ever. Uh, what was that other one? Um, him and uh, Jack Harlow's uh, remix, What's Poppin'? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that was pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. He definitely um, yeah. It's only the songs that he's on by himself that are yeah by the himself same. exactly. Well, yeah, the vibes, same. Vibes is pretty good. That old. Oh yeah. Um, but when he gets other guys on though that take. You know, con- a little bit of control of other of his songs. I feel like uh, uh, rock star. You know, a huge hit with um, that went that went viral. Yeah, that was a crazy song. Or you know, if he gets if he gets on with other people, but it's just if it's a solo song, you know, he might he might um, think about switching his flow. Yeah. All right, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. All right. Uh, <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's do. Okay. Have you guys seen The Office? Yes. Have not, unfortunately. Oh, oh really? I'm uncultured. <laughs> hey, what's your hot take? In fact, I was just talking about this with someone. I Really? I, yeah. Uh, I, did, I said it wasn't as great as people say it is. I, mean, I hear people, people way say, too much good things about yeah, it. That's like, what I'm saying. Everyone that's just what I'm like saying. worships like The Office. Yeah. I've never heard someone say The Office is bad, so. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's well, I honestly probably don't overrated. know why I've never seen it. I just don't watch TV shows like I that. I think it's overrated. I think it's, Kyle, it's thoughts you've seen it. Yeah, right? yeah, I've yeah. seen it. I've, I can't. I, I saw it a long time ago, though, so I don't like that. Have, have like well, yeah, that me good too. Of a memory of it, but I really enjoyed it when I was watching it. But yeah. um, I don't know. People, yeah, people always say a lot of good, people compare it to like Parks and Rec and shows like that. I haven't seen that though. I've never seen that. Yeah, it's it's a similar show, but I think The Office is really good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't know much else to say. I, I liked it a lot. Really? It's probably one of my favorite TV shows. Wait, was okay. the hot take that it was bad? Yeah. That was overrated. No, 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 not not bad. No, I I liked it. I watched it all the way through, but I just thought it was overrated. I I mean, mean, obviously, I think it, yeah, like I said, there's, everyone seems to like it, so there's a point where it's like, all right, it might be a little overrated, but I I can't give any opinion. Yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah. um, How about this, uh, this, oh, what do you call it? Um, Oh, gosh, this, this show that you guys are... Oh, Outer Banks. Yeah, Outer Banks, yeah. Outer Banks, right. <laughs> well, just came, the new season came out yesterday, so yeah. you need to watch that first. What yeah. about it? I don't know. Isn't it a little drama? Enforced? Adventure, or, stuff like that. It's like Is an it adventure, adventure thriller, sort of. It definitely appeals of. to a younger audience, okay. I think, as like its primary, because it's like... Well, go ahead. Yeah. 
Are you done? I was just going to say, to be fair, the only reason I think it got so much hype was because it came out originally back in quarantine when oh, everyone quarantine, was yeah. sitting at home, literally. Yeah. Like, I guarantee you Not Netflix doing... was popping with their viewers <laughs> and yeah. watch time because everybody was, was sitting at home watching Netflix, I bet. Yeah, yeah, and back uh, then. And that was like right yeah. when quarantine started, so everyone saw Outer Banks, and then like on social media platforms it blew up. Yeah. Back then, too. TikTok was also getting like really big. It mm-hmm. also like started exploding, and so you would just see a bunch of Outer Banks TikToks because Outer TikTok is used Madeline by so Klein. many, so many kids now. The really? dime. You, yeah, you just see so many of them everywhere, and so you'd be like, "Huh, I wonder what this is all about." All this hype. So then you would go watch it. Yeah, and that's the would... only reason I watch it is because I saw it on yeah. social media. I was like, "All right, maybe I should finally yeah, yeah. watch this." I might have to. Have you not seen the first season? I, I mean, I saw a little bit of it, but I know I didn't finish it. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to watch the second season. First yeah. season was a little. I mean, it's it was really good, but at the time I hadn't really seen many shows, so I didn't really know what to compare it to. Yeah. But I definitely heard a lot of people say it's kind of corny. Which okay. Is, I was gonna say a little. I can see why. Drama, like too hot to handle type, <laughs> type stuff. No. no. no? Yeah, too not, hot to handle. Well, well no, I, I know, but no. No, I mean, so then what's con- what's corny if it's not the the drama part? The just the acting and plot. Yeah, yeah it's acting. like is it acting adventure to find treasure, and there's a lot of just conflicts that are not needed, or I mean, not necessarily not needed. Not That's even what that. Makes just it. like kind of cliche. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All around, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say then? Um. Okay. Here's one. I don't believe. Okay, this isn't should shouldn't be like a law or anything, but I said kids should not be recommended to have phones until they're like twelve. Or like I don't know 10. many kids that are getting phones under twelve. A lot serious? of kids are now. Oh yeah, oh, really? I've seen so many videos of like babies and iPads. It's like well, iPads that's different, but well, no, but like phones, like phones, access to, fifth access graders, like data phone? and messages and calls. Fourth grader or what would that be? How old would you be when you're? Well, I think it's different phones compared to social media because a younger kid yeah. can have a phone because their mom wants to have a way to or their parents don't have a way to communicate with them when that's they're not the with them. Thing, yeah. Which I think is fine, but there's also the the younger kids that are 11, 12, 13 that are getting social media and I honestly think our generation or I guess it's probably now the gener- I mean, it's pretty much our generation but I was gonna say, kids younger than us it's it's just kind of making it's it's skewing our generation's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. thought processes and just looks at society because social media is just kind of taking over these kids minds and there's now like 12 yeah. year olds like I was literally scrolling on TikTok a couple weeks or I don't know how long ago it was and I scrolled and it was like a live video and this guy's mm-hmm. like how, how old are you and this kid goes like 11 and it was literally an 11 year old sitting on yeah. TikTok live where anybody any age can go on and comment towards him or say whatever he wants exactly. or join the live with him and it's just mm-hmm. like what does well, parents think and I see and, these kids you know 11 12 year olds just cussing like <laughs> Cussing like crazy, like you know. That's we would, just how or, they grew up, though. But well, a lot of parents, it seems a like lot of society parents, like, is is they get those social um I don't know what the word is, but they it starts young, it keeps starting younger and younger. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. We were 100%. the last generation. Well, if I mean, for we, bad words, we might be part of it. No, just for, for like everything. Social media. For oh, yeah. yeah, social media. I mean, more. We're not the greatest with social. <laughs> we're uh, yeah. We the throne has been taken. It's all the thirteen. I'd say now. yeah. Because they're the ones who, like, Charlie D'Amelio does not have boys our age following her. That's not that there are 100 million, whatever. It's definitely, well, like, definitely has boys. 13, well, yeah, oh, okay. but I'm saying, like, the majority is yeah, I want to go back into all your podcasts and see how many times you mentioned Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> I've, probably, I've probably mentioned Addison Ray more. How many yeah. times have you talked about Addison TikTokers? Ray. 100%. I've heard it multiple times. Yeah. Gets on my nerves. <laughs> I know Anyways. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh... Um, I'm going to talk about the, the little more serious, I guess, is, uh, like judgment nowadays of, because of social media a lot, um, like the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover is pretty much gone nowadays. I feel like how people, they judge you right off the bat. Actually, that, I see that a lot. You know, from like, I mean, has that changed or is that just more spoken of now? I don't know. I feel like nowadays because you see you sc- you go on Instagram and you see just a picture, never met him, never anything. Yeah, you you make a true. billion, you know, well, scrolling uh, through someone's Instagram. You can about them. yeah, you can assume a lot more things by scrolling through someone's social media than you can back in the day when you had to meet them. Yeah, that's what talk I meant. to them to get to know them. So 
it's definitely way easier to make assumptions. Yeah. And judge them, I guess. Yeah, yeah that, that's... Yeah. Any thoughts? Well, what's the hot take? Yeah. I be, guess I we're just we're kind of just throwing out like topics to talk about. Yeah. Hot takes, I guess right. it's not really. Yeah. I guess I mean we're we're pretty average, average people. So I don't know if we have too much of hot takes. Do you guys have anything that you're hot like? Take. Uh, Social media has done better good than it has hurt. Do you agree with that? I think it's a lot of kids um, because they're so dependent on social media for like. I know I have some friends who are like really like involved with like. Uh, how they do on platforms like Instagram and likes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel like it's definitely hurt people's, like, mental health a lot more because you have, like, FOMO, things like that, that you wouldn't used to have before FOMO. because, like, you're missing, you're missing out. out. So, like, oh, you see okay. people at parties and you're like, dang, I wish I could be there, things like that. And uh, it makes you feel a lot more worse by your, about yourself. Lots of peer pressure. So, like, yeah, that's, I feel like that's how social media yeah. has kind of, like, hurt, like, the, the upcoming generation and our generation in the past. But okay. um, I think it, it's way different for us than it is for adults, though, because they didn't... Because you see adults and they would 100% disagree. Okay, maybe not 100%, mm. but a solid amount of adults would oh, disagree yeah. that social media has done good than it had oh. more more good than it's bad. They would disagree with that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. Say. They would say that it's done way worse things than good things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you think about it... Where's my mom when I need her? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, for us, it's 100% different because now you see the amount of people that... Um, the amount of people that are creating careers out of social media... That's true. It's literally like changing the way that like you don't like back then you had to go to college to get a degree and mm -hmm. start a business or become and be employed just to make your money. There's there's yeah. thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have are only strictly like not even going to college and just strictly making or careers. Or dropping out when they make it. Exactly. They're strictly making careers off of social media platforms. Um, and a lot of times it's literally not even because of talent. Kind of what we talked about earlier. It's not even because of talent. It's just... They make a video that goes viral and then people follow them and they continue to make those kind of videos or they're very attractive and get lots of followers from it and mm -hmm. um, just the followers and once you have followers, the views, they... Sponsorships. Um, yeah, they create sponsorships stuff. and create um, just income based on how many views or likes or followers yeah. you're getting. And I just never know when... Like, will they just keep going? Like, who, who 20 years from now will still... Look at Bryce Hall stuff. <laughs> Bryce Hall, like I, you know, that was just an example. Like, what? what I'm, I'm I mean, in twenty years. Very, Bryce Hall is gonna be forty years old, and I hope he's not. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm very excited to see what those, yeah, type I have of, no, type of careers and type of people do. I literally don't even know where to begin when trying to, and like, figure out what's gonna happen in twenty years with social media. Yeah, you never like, know. I mean. I think it's also important to look at, like, you, you have to realize that, like, you have all these like, people getting, a lot more people now getting really big on social media. We also have a lot yeah. of other people who are also trying to achieve that same thing but can't. Because I think That's most true. of blowing up on social media, yes, it takes... Luck. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's all luck. TikTok is a lot of luck, I can tell you that. Well, not all luck. It's, all, think, it's also luck, but it's also connections because a lot of people that blow up... It is connections. ...blow yes. up because of someone else that is already Aiden famous. Aiden Ross, right? Yes. Yeah, for example, Aiden Ross, he started to blow up and then... That brought him in, being able to um, collaborate with other rappers, which just kept blowing blowing him up more and more, and he gained more and more mm -hmm. followers every time he did a new collaboration. Like, but it's it's himself that keeps the viewers to stay, like yeah. his personality. I mean, he's well, probably yeah. like, but he's, he's very, the top he's of the a, chain on social media right though. now for entertainment. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's, super he's funny. a great entertainer. Yeah, but yeah, that's not, definitely a really good like example all, of just he but, he yeah. went from pretty much no like no one really knew him probably. Even, but he also worked his six eight months ago. Worked his blank off. I don't know if this is PG thirteen or not, but. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm he sure. he worked so hard. I'm sure. I I watched his uh him on a podcast and yeah. So, but one of the things that I also want to say about uh yeah. social media doing more good, just something cool to think about is like we're 17 and like all the using Snapchat, we like save all these memories and stuff and I mean, at least for me, I have hundreds of videos oh, of just hanging the, out with yeah. my friends and like yeah. just having fun with them. Like what like where is where is that going to be in like when when I'm 50 years old and 43 or 33 years, well, like am I still gonna be able to go back onto Snapchat and look at these memories, these videos that I was yeah. making with my friends and like show them to my kids and stuff? Like, <laughs> I just think I, I I don't know. I think that'll be like super cool to if, they, the, if the, that's the, gonna be possible. I, I assume the, it will. The video and the photo stuff is very. Uh, oh, what's the word? It, I mean, Imagine. it's nice to have. Yeah. Our parents a, can't show us. 
Like my mom, you know, she got up. Imagine getting a 33 year old year ago today. Exactly. <laughs> from, you like, get one year ago today, two years ago today, like yes. 40 years ago today, yeah. and you're just like chilling with your friends yeah. and yeah. at the pool or something. And the, we were talking about that today on the boat. Uh, my mom, she got up six slalom skiers at the same time. Yes. That's that's insane. I don't know what the boat. world record is. Yeah. The same yeah, boat. Same boat. And, but they just have one picture. That's it. Yeah. You imagine the, the video, I, I mean, A, nowadays, that would probably go a little bit viral. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> but what so, are the chances that, um, like we were talking about like Snapchat memories and stuff, what are the chances that 33 from, years from now, you're still using Snapchat? Okay, because today for most kids, like you just mostly, yeah, use it as a, as a way to talk to people, but like it's mostly just, I know personally, I just send face pics back and forth with people, some people I don't even know, like personally. Weirdo. Yeah, that's a little and, weird. Yeah, you're weird for that, man. Okay. Oh, like you okay. guys don't do the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Chill. Yeah. Um. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Snapchat. I can't remember what I was gonna say. You're just trying no, to say I'm it's good. pretty You're much saying the, the it's memories. It's pointless. It's it's in 40 years. It's oh yeah, there's no, no, no reason for us to use it. And like well, even camera, our, I mean camera roll stuff. Like yeah, yeah. But but, but not even our Snapchat. generation, like I, I have an older brother who just graduated college. Like he barely uses Snapchat. He prefers because he thinks it's pointless to like also snap people. Like mm -hmm. he only ever uses it to talk to people, and he mainly uses text messaging because why use Snapchat when text messaging has been something that's been around for so long and. Um, but yeah, he like a lot of people around his age too. They they'd rather use texting and stuff to make plans. Yeah. And I think as we've grown older, it's changed a lot. Like two or three years ago, everyone's sending streaks and stuff, and super cringe Snapchat like tendencies. There's a lot of things that have changed. Now so it's kind of it's yeah, a lot facts. different now. Streaks, streaks are so weird. Well, I understood when we were eighth graders, but. There's no point. Like nobody needs to see you every day for. It was just the it's app. not even that. It's, it's just seeing the number go the, up, and you're like, and the S. But why is like that? On S it's just S. how the app worked. That was that was the way that Snapchat used people to come back to their app every single mm. day. I think it's honestly a good way. Somebody's oh, yeah. talking to me Snapchat about it. Is, is, Snapchat's a little a little uh, in some some trouble? deep water maybe. What? With what? For what? No, no, not anything like they're just. I heard their numbers are going down. Uh oh. I know you guys use it a lot, but I know I, a lot of guys that don't. You know, don't use it. I I bet their numbers all. are going down from people that have been using it for years, but their numbers are also probably going to skyrocket just the same amount as kids are yeah. downloading new well, social media apps. There's as just they, more competition though. TikTok and now and, you know Instagram but no stories one really, came no out. No one can text. Since then, then. I mean, obviously, I think Snapchat's the, the number texting. one app for communicating oh, with yeah. friends. Like, that, I haven't sent a text message to a friend in years. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I would say me. the last time I did that was probably like maybe once or twice, but I never. I'd be like text. hang out with someone probably like middle school or something. Oh yeah, I've never <laughs> used messages anymore. Yeah, only my parents and family. And that, that I was gonna say that a yeah. couple friends, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that friends. Snapchat is good for like oh, friendships and stuff like that, but like on a closer, like I still talk and like we all talk in a, like a text message group chat with our family and stuff. So like yeah. on a more like personal like connection, I feel like it's text messaging is a lot better than. Snapchatting. Well, stuff. because Snapchat has other stuff too. Yeah, I was about to say Snapchat. You have stories for friend. Well, for friends at least, I would I would never want to. If I had the option for a Snapchat group chat, a text group chat, obviously I'd have Snapchat because you can do yeah. so much. You can send just videos emoji, to group yeah, well, chats yeah. and lots, lots talk of stuff, and yeah. send a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, whereas text is just simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'd say for me, I don't use Snapchat nearly like you guys do, which yeah. you know. But um, texting is definitely the thing that you know. That I keep that app for. I don't keep it for yeah. snapping yeah. people in my face. I've, I've literally said so many times, like, dang, I, I'd literally delete Snapchat if I didn't, if it was, if it wasn't my only way of communicating with so many people. Yeah. And for memories. Well, and it's I, sometimes cool to look at other people's stories. Yeah, but a lot of times they I'm put just weird like, stuff on it's there. It's been so pointless at times. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was good, solid, uh, solid one. Um, here's one. Uh, I don't know if I said this last time or not. Crap, because I have the same list Sorry. for. We didn't talk about it. I did, so. Well, I just said "Old Town Road" was a good was a good song when it first came out. <laughs> Maybe when it first came out, but that That's got old so Bro, fast. That thing blew up. Old Town Road blew up. Yeah, I, I started was... hating it so much after. Like, I know. Yeah, I don't listen to it. The tenth well, listen, no, I was like, I mean, it's, it's been old. years now, but, but yeah. I'm saying when it first came out. That started Lil Nas X's like, career, though. I was like, the idea. And everyone called him a one-hit wonder, but I think his recent is actually really good. Yeah. Uh, not holiday. That dude has uh, created the one so with Jack much Harlan. drama. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's created so much drama. Um, well, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he's Satan shoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say him and just the idea of getting rap and country combined. I don't know. I thought that was 
you know, first time it basically ever been done oh, at that level. That's probably that's probably, that's probably one Don't reason why it got so big. Last episode. Oh. Yeah. Did you didn't listen to that. Which one was it? Uh, episode seven. Which one though? The hot sauce one. Oh yeah, no, I didn't listen to it all the way through. Okay. Um. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that that was. Don't don't say that one around him. I'm not. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Um, some controversial. All right, here's 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 one. Um, going back to the I guess social media stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video, but uh, <laughs> the hot inter- takes with the boys at right. the lake. Sure. Yeah. No one getting is super on the video controversial. Must with watch the winginator. Um, <laughs> no one is clicking on the video. If any of those are the, your title. Uh, yeah, I said the entertainment industry is slipping. It's becoming too crowded. It's not really based on hard work anymore. Um, well, I don't know if it ever was. But that's such a broad statement, though, because entertainment industry is no. I'm saying okay. literally anything from social media to yeah. sports yeah. games I'm, I'm to saying, concerts yeah, yeah. to. I'm saying, uh, yeah, maybe movies, maybe film industry. Yeah, film industry. Oh, 100 percent. That's going down because no one really. I mean, well, I haven't just, been to a movie theater in a long time. Okay. That's not well, the only no, part of the film not, industry. Yeah, because I go, I go to the movies all the time, so yeah. it's not. You well, have really channels like movies. Disney Plus and these like that. Like it's still part of, like the film. I mean, you got it's part. You got movies, shows, everything on it. Yeah, I I meant as far as um, maybe maybe not film industry. Maybe uh, I don't want to say social media though, because it's not. I just say entertainment like videos. I guess maybe like maybe YouTube? You, maybe YouTube. Yeah. Mm-mm. I mean. Well, I don't know what the statistics would say. I was gonna say I don't know what the statistics would say, but I don't see that going down at all. If anything, really? up. I mean, there's it's nothing getting... stopping it. Yeah, but it's. I don't think. Um, who said it? Somebody said it. Uh, a famous YouTuber. They're like, it's really hard to get into the YouTube industry now because oh. the guys that, oh. that do you that... mean people that are creating the videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, like, like creators. Yeah. Well, making careers out of YouTube is probably slowing down because. The main source of people, like main source of people going on YouTube, is people that are already famous on YouTube. But I don't think that the amount of people that are watching YouTube is is going down at all. I think it's gone down a little bit, but maybe a little not bit. not not like crazy <laughs> a little or anything. Bit, no. But I was saying, uh, it's obviously it might really have... hard to blow up on YouTube now. But that's what I'm saying. You, I mean, it's because TikTok is taking it over. It's everyone's. If you want to blow up, if you want to get famous for social media or create a career on social media, TikTok is your that's what 100% sucks. way to go. I don't want to use TikTok, but it's by far the best app to do you it with. Skits and it's easy skits on TikTok. You could if one of those blows up, you have a good chance oh, of 100%. A, a except, lot more than except the one thing I do know is that TikTok, um, the what's it called, the creator fund, just pays terribly. Oh no, it's it's horrible. Yeah. I don't think they get paid except for sponsors. No, you do get paid. You do get, you get paid, paid, but it's like. It's I, I don't want to say it's like I heard. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wrong when I say it, so I'm not even gonna say it. But I just know it's t- it's so small compared it's, to like yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Of it's. Oh yeah. Like I think the reason like why it's so much easier everything. to get bigger on TikTok is YouTube videos. They're they're not like a minute long. They're not they're they're like long. And if one doesn't blow up, even yeah. however how much you spend, how much time you spent making it, like there's no reward for your, Bro, your your TikTok. Whole, each of them is like 15 seconds. Yeah, like, your whole career could start off a 15 second video. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That quick. That's, that's overnight. Something. People yeah. can post a video at 10 p.m. and then wake up with like two million likes and then. Mm-hmm. 200,000 followers but you also see people like those who have those in a lot of other videos and none of them get any other love it's just that like a one hit wonder like yeah. one really good TikTok and for sure so yeah. and then they try to make other stuff and it doesn't really work out yes exactly yeah uh, <laughs> yeah but I, I was gonna say like because um, as far well as far as YouTube it's gotten more crazy and more crazy the budget you have to have and the investment you have to have is unbelievable now you have people like Mr. Beast who <laughs> Probably will go to the moon in a couple of years or something. My mic <laughs> okay, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. I mean, it's insane. Huh, yeah, but but it's you know the the people that that are doing YouTube now, you've got to have a bunch of money, pretty much, because it's hard to make content as well as far as the creator stuff. Maybe not music or memes or whatever, but but I mean, even as far as gaming or stuff, you have to have a really expensive setup to get people's attention. I'd say. I'd say if yeah. you're it, gaming it, it, is pay to win. Huh? What There's skill to it, but it's pay to win. Okay. You have a what do you mean? Two hundred dollar setup. 
You're obviously disagree. not going to be able to win tournaments compared to someone with a five thousand. Oh, I see what you mean. Obviously, that's that's different. But like, it also you can have as good of a PC as you want. But like, if you're trying to get big based on, there's obviously two different sides of gaming. There's like comedy, professional players, and yeah, there's entertainment. Yeah. So obviously, professional players are like the top. That's every industry though. There's mm. the people who call themselves a content creator, or a yes, like, entertainer. Yeah. There are people that are actually like for gaming, for example. There's content creators, and then there's people that are actually tournament players that. Will make ter- will make videos right. of them playing tournaments, but they're right. not going to mm-hmm. call themselves a content creator. Okay. Like for example, with the like the fitness industry, which is what you watch now, is there's yep. content creators that'll make like videos of like funny videos and yeah. videos of them working out, and then there's people that are actually like going into like shows that post videos of them like of their prep and everything, which there's two different sides to it. So, what makes gaming any more pay to win than like other industries? Well, how are you going to pay to win in like fitness industry? Besides, what you- <laughs> paying for pay to win steroids. Exactly, paying for steroids. But <laughs> Basically, not pay to Dr. win. Dr. Tony Huge. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, controversial topics by far. I don't know if this is controversial topics or hot takes, but it's uh. I'm trying to see if there's any other good ones that we could say. I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, it's almost time, but. Uh, coffee is trash. Yeah, I think it's never terrible. had coffee in my life. That is also, terrible. I do not like coffee. I've had coffee once and it was black roasted coffee, so it was terrible to me. Okay. I've never needed coffee. That's I never take, take energy. I just drink some energy. Good hot take. Yeah. Hot take. Solid. I know the amount of people that would be disagreeing with that, though. Yeah, oh, there's before. a lot. Oh my god, I drink coffee every day. Yeah, I heard it. I mean, isn't it bad for you though? After like long-term effects. Who knows? Well, caffeine and non-caffeine. There's a bunch of different stuff. There's, you right. could probably come up with many studies about that, but yeah, <laughs> that was random. All right, <laughs> you guys good? You guys have any other ones you don't want to talk about? I mean, it's almost time, so forty-six minutes. Do you have Is that how long the podcasts are now? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think we might shorten them a little bit. I think we're gonna do one more and then take a break because we are working on a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get some advertisement for that right now. Yeah. Working on a movie. It's called Pinpoint. It's pretty sick. Uh, I'm the person that runs it, I guess. These guys have a scene together. It's pretty cool. Y'all better uh, watch it. He's working his I, ass off. Yeah, mm, I'm going to try. Not PG-13, this summer, dude. Film this summer and, uh, I mean, film this fall and winter. Probably come out spring of 2022. Uh, if not, summer of 2022. But, yeah. So, see what happens. First movie, so it's probably gonna be trash. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm trying it's to make just it the experience. Some, yeah, it's just the experience, and hopefully, I can. Um, You're only 17. It's just get it up on Amazon Prime Video, or something. Maybe Netflix. Probably not Netflix, though. Yeah, no, I can't. You know, you know, in order to get a movie on Netflix, you have to use a special camera. Like every single thing on Netflix, you have to. There's a list of. Well, I'm sure of, like, you don't see anything on Netflix. Six cameras. Like bad quality. Or yeah. Yeah. Right, so what about anime? Oh, oh, no. oh no! Right, hot take: Anime is terrible. <laughs> I think I have I think no it's opinion terrible. on anime. I've never watched it, but the amount of people that do watch, do it, watch it's, it it's, it's say growing. it's amazing. It's grown. And yeah, it's the new. It's not the new, but it's it's a lot more people. I think are watching it. I now. would say it's almost become kind of a trend, especially on TikTok and stuff. A lot of people have gotten into it. Yeah. You see, I just don't. Well, I mean, you've given me a couple that I need to watch, and maybe I'll change my mind. The pro you over should. here. <laughs> but I know some other friends have taught me. What's told your favorite me. anime, Kyle? Oh, there you go. I wouldn't. It'd probably. How be... many How many anime series have you seen? I actually have a list. Oh no! Just off the top of your head, we don't have time to. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say over twenty. Okay, so, so it's you, not have a, that you have much. a valid opinion on that's not much. But there are a lot of episodes, right? Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't. I, can, ner- I watch a I watch Naruto a specific or... type of it because it's, 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 it's basically like TV shows with just like Japanese cartoons, right? You have these like romance ones, you have action ones, you have ones where like main character fights bad guy, stuff like that. I mostly ma- mostly stick to like the the bad guys, the adventure action stuff like that. Not really. Yeah. Like the... Well, you you explained it well to me because you when I first heard about anime, it was like it's just one thing, right? You know, and it's not. It, it's it's a whole category. It's just like saying cartoons here yeah right because there's whole that you, you got you got fantasy and furb you got uh, <laughs> yeah exactly Flintstones, you know you got so like you might you might stuff. not like one you might like the other because it's like you, you, like tv shows you can't just say i don't like tv shows because i don't like 
the office or something right you've got to watch other yeah, yeah. that's exact that's a, the perfect example of yeah that's how i'd say it's like but obviously yeah. it's not everyone's cup of tea so well sometimes to me cartoons can get a little annoying i like acting i like the cinematography stuff i think right. most people but, that say it's not their cup of tea isn't because they wouldn't like it it's just because they don't choose to watch it true okay, yeah. for me at least i i don't think I, I think if i watch it i would enjoy it but i just don't i don't watch any type of show like that so I just, a lot of time commitment too it. true yeah, yeah it's such a time like Naruto is like what three hundred episodes or something, something like eight hundred total between that and its next. <laughs> there you go. That is insane. Well, they're eight hundred episodes, each, but, but that's insane. So I dedicated much. my spring to watching Game of Thrones, and that took uh, forever. I ended that in like June, started in like December the last year. Stuff like that, you know, it just takes a lot of time. So yeah, I don't know. All right, thank you guys for watching. Sure um, that one. We'll see. Which one? School is not prepared for real life. Oh, we already did that I one. Gone off on that. We already did that All one. All right, last guys. Episode. Don't forget. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. And if you're listening from anywhere else, just tune in with us. And uh, yeah, that is the you've most. You've obviously never done an outro before. Yeah, that you've never. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously don't make YouTube videos for a reason. <laughs> this supposed to be the intro, but you forgot. You could it. be the new Aiden Ross. Maybe. <laughs> Asian Ross. <laughs> if, you, if you like Kyle, Asian Ross, baby. His YouTube's in the description. He's trying to blow up. Uh, the deep dive with hey, Asian Ross. Put, put me in the game. <laughs> or follow his TikTok. He pushed their straps. <laughs> <laughs> that right. I do not. Uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Like like Kyle said, uh, if you're listening to us, a rating would be really nice. We have a couple of ratings, but we're trying to get some maybe some sponsors in the works. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next week. Peace.